I actually think placebos for sleep show a lot of promise. And the reason is because I know far too many personally in my own life, as much as they have tried all of that, it still doesn't work because they are dependent upon the pill. Right. And what is the harm in, in something that, if you know you're doing it, you know that you are part of this, this placebo protocol right. where you're gonna take your pill and you're not gonna necessarily know whether you got a full dose. What is, sure. I mean, again, we're so, not, I'm not talking about a medicine here where you yeah. could have severe withdrawals from not taking it. So that's the big factor, right, is most sleep medications have a rebound insomnia when you withdraw them. And so if you were to give somebody a full dose of, let's say, a benzodiazepine, like a Restoril or something like that, and then you give them basically a sugar pill the next day, you're gonna start to see that rebound well, insomnia we tapered hit. then, so, but we use yeah. the placebo effect along the way. So, and so what I think is like, so intriguing is the aspect of that psychological dependency and the anxiety that goes along with it, that if they do know they're being tapered or mm -hmm. they know that somewhere in that mix of those seven day pills to this study, right. that they did get a placebo, but they slept anyway, then do you think that alleviates some of that anxiety knowing, oh, I got through this week and at least three of the days I didn't have any medication, that that helps remove that crutch and that helps alleviate some of that anxiety. Like that might be the benefit of Many of them like already this. know. I would argue that there's definitely some utility from an education and a reduction in anxiety standpoint, no question about it. But let's be honest, a placebo is just a distraction, right? I mean, it's no different than watching television to fall asleep. So a placebo is I'm gonna give you this thing and I promise you it's gonna, it's gonna distract you from what your current symptoms are, enough for the natural process to occur. But the truth of the matter is, is cognitive behavioral therapy is really where we wanna go with these. It actually works better than sleep meds, certainly better than placebo, and long-term benefits are incredible because you don't just have a sleep problem that you get rid of, you also get rid of your pill problem. Couldn't, couldn't agree more, mm -hmm. however, again, that, that's expensive, you need to find a good cognitive behavioral therapist. I think placebos could have a huge impact in the sleep, sleeping space because we don't all have access to sleep specialists, that's the only reason. And we don't want everybody on sleeping pills, <laughs> especially ben benzodiazepines that, that we know they are. are physiolo they can phys cause physiological, they, they physiological addiction, and things like that. So. Also, to be clear, there are online programs now for cognitive behavioral therapy that people can participate in from their home. So they don't actually have I to- I love that. They don't have to go and find a cognitive behavioral therapist, because to be fair, you're, you're absolutely right. There aren't enough of us around. But now, that, and there's one like there's one called Sleepio an that's really good that's out there that's actually created by a sleep specialist, has real clinical data behind Love it. That. You can go online, pay your fee, and then you have this avatar. You have this character that comes and teaches you about sleep and walks you through what to do. It, the science is getting better and better now to be, have access. Love that. I'm, I'm going to put that resource on our website for yeah. folks out there who are interested. But I will add to what you said and support you in this. If you're someone who has become completely dependent on taking a medicine to fall asleep at night, has severe anxiety with even the thought of not taking it, it's time to talk to your general practitioner, try to get hooked up with a sleep specialist because that's what you all do. That is, that is your 100%. career and we appreciate you for it. It's a big problem in our country.